So, guys, it is Season 29 PTR, and I've been having an absolute blast. We're Paragon level 654, and the max Paragon level that they have done in the PTR is 800. So, this is going to be the new Paragon cap inside of Diablo 3 at the start of Season 29 season. So, what I wanted to do is just kind of go over my thoughts and talk about why the Paragon has been capped my thoughts on it do i think it's good bad etc this is really just an opinion piece you guys can let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comments if you're even playing diablo 3. now since diablo 4 has been out i've been playing that non-stop but i've come back to the ptr and i'm probably going to be doing enough inside this season when it actually launches um just to counteract some d4 because of the state of the game so paragon points being capped as we know for the longest time when it came to the leaderboards when it came to trying to rank one, the biggest thing in contributor was having Paragon points. The more Paragon points that you had, the stronger that you became and the easier it became to do higher and higher greater rifts and getting to greater rift 150, the max greater rift, uh, the most Paragon points usually was the one that would be ranked one in whatever category that we're talking about in solo overall by the armor pieces or the sets that you're doing or no sets and this also applied in two and three and four players now the devs have changed this over at diablo 3 and they want to cap the paragon at 800 to make it a even more leveling playing field now there's a few things that come with that in diablo 3 it's very very fast to level up even at the start, it only takes a couple hours to get to 70, and it only takes a little bit longer to get to 800 Paragon. It's really probably a five hour ordeal, if not faster than that, if you're really maximizing your time and being efficient. So what it used to be is, is that each of these categories would be maxed at 50, right? All three, all of these in utility, defense and offense, all capped at 50, and in core, uh, movement speed as well as maximum wrath was both capped at 50 and then you could put as many points as you wanted to into your main set as well as uh, vitality uh, typically what happened is, is that when you get to paragon 800 you max every single category and then you put more and more points into your core stat or your main stat to give you that even more damage boost okay now that's gone that is all gone wash it away that is no longer here so what they've done is is they've, they've allowed 200 points total that can be put into every category as before having 50 in each one equal 200 the difference now is is that i can put the full 200 points if i wanted to into just life as you can see here i put all 163 points into life now the thought behind all of this is to allow for a little bit more customization when it comes to um, your builds in Diablo 3. However, with how, I don't wanna say narrow, but just like how streamlined and linear it is when it comes to your builds, there's not a whole lot of changes that you can really make anyway. For example, with the Aegis of Valor build, you're gonna be playing this set. You have to have at least five pieces, just like I have here. If I'm gonna use this build, I have to have these two weapons. Now, an argument could be made for the rings, which I've talked about in build videos. So I could swap rings out. I could even swap this, this um, brace route for a different one. Amulet, maybe, but really Squirts is the best one in the game. So I have one, two, three chances to swap out stuff. If I choose not to use Captain Crimson's and I use like the Al'Dul set, that's two more pieces. So really I have five, maybe six pieces out of the 13 that I can actually swap out. So there, there's very limited customization when it comes to your builds in Diablo 3, which for years has been more than fine. Now, with that limitation on your builds uh, or your sets and whatever you're, you're making in a, in a class, Paragon was pretty much straightforward. Max everything, put everything into your core stat, and that's it. I don't know how much 200 points is going to change things. For example, with the Aegis of Valor build that you guys see, uh, it's really based on move speed. So if I wanted to, I could just put all my points in here to give me even more move speed, which would allow my build to do even more damage.
But with that said, then I sacrifice Corsat, which is a very, very important stat when it comes to your Paragon because you're going to do even more damage because main stat is where it is. Um, so there's going to be some real hard choices to do in the core category. But I think when it comes to the other ones, it's pretty straightforward. If my build doesn't rely on attack speed, I'm always going to be doing crit chance and damage. These two just seem to be like a hundred a piece and you split. Uh, if there's a build that doesn't need cooldown or needs heavy, heavy cooldown, then you max cooldown. The defenses, life isn't really an issue. Armor isn't too big of an issue depending on your class. You're really going to be taking armor and all resist. Life regen is, gonna, is a complete waste. In utility, for most of this, you're never, now we're probably never going to take gold pickup radius unless there's a build that really, really relies on it. Life per hit, don't ever need that. So you're really either going to split or you're going to take all in resource cost reduction or all in area damage for particular builds. For example, like the multi-shot Demon Hunter build, I don't need any resource cost reduction. It's already going to be super high. So I'm going to max 200 points into area damage and it's going to be insane. So there's, I think it's going to make the focus on some builds just even more focused, if that's the way I can put it. Um, so you're not really just like crap well i put 50 in here i can't do anything else so i might as well put 50 in here and then 50 in here and then 50 in here because that's just what you do now i don't have to do that it allows for a little bit more focus on certain builds um we're gonna have to really see how this shakes out um and this is gonna be the the cap for the entire season so you're not gonna be able to put more than 800 points into your paragon so i'm really curious on how people are going to be able to really really buckle down and do gr 150s i'm curious to see what the times are going to be and i'm really really curious to see how everything's going to shake up with that i want you guys down in the comments to let me know what you think the paragon cap should be should it be 800 1200 1500 2000 let me know down in the comments what you think about that now, with all that said, guys, I think the change to allow a little bit more customization in what was a pretty linear Paragon board or Paragon in Diablo 3, I do think it's cool. I think it's innovative and I think it allows for a little bit more change, especially when we come look at things like life per hit or gold pickup um, or life regen. Some of this stuff that we just don't really need. Um, but besides that, I'm kind of curious to see what uh, happens i'm really curious to see what you guys thoughts are so like the video comment down below let me know what you guys think and uh so far in my experience i um, playing through the ptr for just a few hours today um what i have been doing is just kind of putting it back to what the normal was and that seemed okay um when i really put a focus on just like doing crit chance and crit damage it allowed allowed me to do a little bit more damage but then i suffered in my cooldown so the combination of being able to maybe not take crit damage crit chance and cooldown on the majority of your gear pieces in almost every build it can allow for a little bit more diversity with that like i could probably take like instead of crit damage here as an example i could keep crit chance but then keep area damage and do cooldown right because then i can make up and do even more damage in here right so we're going to see how that really shakes out because there's some really good gear pieces that you find that you could use that you don't necessarily keep because it doesn't have the exact stat priorities that you need. So that's it. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Like, subscribe, do all that really cool stuff. And as always, stay gaming and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.